Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and today I came upon to do something that I never have done before and that is setting some setting some goals to this year, to this new year 2024 talk about my projects, what I have in mind for the channel in terms uh, of reading projects and also uh, content creating projects so a bit of both I thought January was a perfect month to do this of course is the first month of the year and if you want to set goals perhaps you know we should start at the beginning and start early so that's why I resolved to film this because it this is this wasn't in my plans i wasn't supposed to film a video about uh, setting goals or anything but i thought about it and this came to my mind and i thought it will be fun to share with you some of my plans for this year 2024 in terms of reading and also in terms of content create creation on YouTube. So, beginning with reading. So, my reading goals. Uh, in my Goodreads challenge, I set myself for 20 books to read this year. Hopefully, I will surpress it, but that's have been happening the last two years. But, you know, we never know, or at least I never know, because it depends a lot in my mood, if I want to read, uh, if I have time to do so. So it depends on a lot of things. If everything goes well and if everything goes, it, it has been occurring during these past two years, I, I think I will be able to read more than 20 books. Not so much more, but a few more. So in my first challenge in 2021, I set uh, to read 48 books. So I was trying to make a flow of one book a week, more or less, and I didn't accomplish it. So I wasn't able to read the 48 books. I stayed at 39. That wasn't bad, at least because I consider myself myself a really slow reader because I have <laughs> that silence voice in my mind I have to read all the words I don't like to skip or read fast like to have a general idea no I want and I prefer and that's the only way that I know how to read it's to read word by word in that with that silence voice in my mind I heard a lot about other types of, of styles of reading that doesn't imply the silence voice in your, in your mind, but I don't know how to do that. So, yeah. So as I was saying, okay, so the following year in 2022, I set the challenge for 20 books, you know, trying to be reasonable. And I was able to suppress it in six books. So I read 26 books. And in 2023, so last year, I said again for 20 books. You know, I want to put my challenge a bit lower. And a, so I, it's more achievable, you know. So that's why I only put 20 books. And in 2023, I was able to read more nine books than the 20 books. Of course, that's that's not like I read only big books or, you know. In the mix, I read novellas, short stories and shorter novels. So that's why, <laughs> in some ways, I kind of shit a bit because, you know, it's not like big full novels that I read throughout the year. So if I read a novella, if I read a short story and I put it in an individual read book, it counts as a full book. So it goes on my counting of book reads that year. 
so you know and as i was explaining to you now i always set my goal lower in a way to make a sensible goal to achieve uh, and i of course don't be so overwhelmed or disappointed or frustrated and it kind of makes me a bit more happy when i can read more than the goal that i set so i think that every year if nothing changes be you know between now and then i will always set my goal at 20 books and i will try to suppress it and of course with the with the sheeting part where i read more shorter novels so i think i have already talked about this in my channel but i consider myself a mood reader so i don't set a list of books to read per se i i go with the feeling with the interest that picks in some point with my research with the videos on booktube that i watch and i be and i am influenced by other um, booktubers or bookstagrammers or booktokers or whatever uh, so and you know i'm acquiring books uh, along the way and sometimes they stay in my shelves and i don't read them other times i read right after they arrive so it's a bit <laughs> random M my choices of books to pick up to read and so i in december of 23 so last year um i i talked to myself and i set a point to not buy books and have them taking dust in my shelves and buying new books and never coming back to those first that i bought so i use the app notion of course i think you perhaps have already to, uh, heard someone talk about it or you yourself use it already so that was a platform that i thought it was fun to explore i'm not going to do a view of my of my page there because i don't want to reveal what i'm going to read i want to have a little of suspense in my channel and also i'm not an expert on ocean everything that i learned to do i went to youtube videos to learn to do that so if you are interested download the app or use it in your browser in your computer and go research for how to do something in ocean how to set a page how to everything that you want to know how to do in ocean is you have so much information available on youtube that it's a whole world so you just have to do some research so as i was saying notion is kind of fun because i have the app in my phone and i also can uh, go to the pages on my browser on my computer and so if i'm out i can see in the app if i'm at home i'm there seeing it in my computer so that's practical and a way to if i have an idea for something or if i want to change something i can do that in real time and it will alter in all my devices so that's kind of cool but you know i made a conscious decision and i set a page on notion with every single month of the year and i titled it reading by month 2024 and i set for each month three to four books that i already have in my shelves to read throughout the year so the decision was to read books that 
ha I have already previously bought and I, I had already in my house. Of course, this is not saying that I'm in a buying ban. That's not the case. I also make a conscious decision to buy less. Yes. But I still want to buy some things because I have some reading projects that I'm trying to acquire the books little by little so I don't be overwhelmed and you know the expense doesn't be so hard in one month it has to be gradually bought so the hit is not so hard on my credit <laughs> Uh, so I'm not in a buying ban and I, and I also set a buying list uh, in Notion as well. I set another page for my buying list of books for each month. So I set some titles that I want to buy in a specific month and I put where I'm, I'm going to buy them the price that they are set in. The majority of the books that I buy, I buy in second hand, but there are some books that I have to buy in my bookstore or in my local bookstore or online, in bookstores online. And I always try, if I'm going to buy a book in a bookstore online, I always try to take advantage of promotions. So I kind of do my list and I wait for the promotion and then I buy them. But coming back to the view, the monthly view of the books I'm going to read during the year that I set on Ocean. Of course, I'm not sure if I'm going to accomplish the readings of those books. And, but I'm trying to push myself to read more and read during more time each day and accomplish these goals. Of course, I could put well a month, roughly, it's like four to five weeks, uh, depending on how the month is set. But so I could put five books in a month. Of course, there are people that read way higher than that, but I'm not that kind of person, as you may already understood. So I put to three to four <laughs> and that's pushing it. But yes, I did this. So for the first time in my life, I already have the readings that I want to do during the year. And I already set goals for some specific books that are a bit bigger that I want to read till the end of the year. So I want to finish them in December 2024. So I set them to read, uh, for example, uh, I have a book that's my December book for 2024, The Intellectuals and Society by Thomas Sowell. And I, I I counted the number of pages of that book and I divided for the 12 months. So I have to read kind of 40 pages per month. So my goal is to start this January and read 40 pages each month. So when I when December comes, I have that book read. And I'm able to film a review video for that said book. So stuff like that, I'm trying to set myself not to fail <laughs> in trying to maintain the content going in my channel. So yeah, so now going to my YouTube content creation plans. I'm, I've been thinking and if you accompany my channel for a while, and you usually see my videos. My content fundamentally is book reviews, wrap ups, some random hauls, some lists of books that I, I'm planning to read or I want to read or they are in my wish list. 
So, but mainly my type of content, the majority of my content is book reviews. So individual book reviews. And <laughs> I've been thinking and sometimes book reviews, although they are, they can be useful if you are looking for a specific opinion or a specific point of view or a specific talk about a certain book, they can be useful. But I'm, well, in terms of entertainment, perhaps they are not the top choice of YouTube viewers in Booktube because, you know, that's not much going on. It's just the person talking about the book. Although if you are a reader, you may be interested in that. And I'm not saying the contrary because I love doing book reviews and I love watching book reviews. But I made the decision to trying I'm not promising anything because I don't know in terms of logistics how I'm going to be able to do that. But I'm planning to bring more vlog format to my channel. So I think they are more dynamic and perhaps more entertaining, you know. I, I'm planning to bring a bit of my day, what... I eat in a day, me cooking, of course, also talking about a certain book or a set of books during the vlog. Of course, I'm talking about reading vlogs. Of course, I don't know if I'm going to do vlogs that aren't related to reading. I don't have travel plans for this year, so I don't know how I'm going to do that if I'm if I don't have anything going on, you know. So I'm talking about reading vlogs, but you know, showing a bit of my day, what I do, what I cook, what I eat. I think people sometimes are curious about it and want to see my routine, sharing other things that might be useful for you that you maybe don't know about or you want to hear more about, you know, stuff like that. And at the same time, I also thought about doing reading vlogs because for me to do a book review, I have to read to completion th that certain book, right? And as I'm a slow reader and sometimes I don't have so much time or I'm not in the right mood to do that specific reading and being able to read, film, upload and be on time in the schedule of my channel every, every Tuesday. Sometimes it's hard for me to have videos uploaded in my channel. So I think also for to go easy on myself and be more easy for me, a reading vlog doesn't mean I have to read the book till the end of the vlog. I can do, for example, two vlogs about the same books and I'm going to talk about them along the vlog and you kind of have a review in the end of the day, but in separate videos. So this is my idea. I don't know how well in reality that's going to work, even if it's going to work. In my mind, <laughs> I'm thinking it, it will, but it's just a matter for me to experiment and see how that entails in terms of filming, in terms of editing, you know, all the stuff. I don't know if it's going to be more hard work for me or less. I'm not sure about it, so that's why I'm filming this video to announce that this few months is going to be a bit experimental. The next, next videos after this one are still going to be book reviews because I have stuff 
from last year to get around to and upload the videos so I have the challenge finished so that's not, not going to be the vlogs are not going to appear right right away but be expecting for February like at the end of February beginnings of March to see more kind of vlogs formats but you know experiments so have that in mind and bear with me please uh, as I try to figure out what works, what doesn't work, if you enjoyed it, if you don't, so everything counts. I'm saying this, but this, this doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing book reviews. No, I still want to, I have, I want to have a bit of everything. So book reviews, vlogs, um, random hauls. Or, or book hauls or favorites I'm going to try to bring more stuff like that but of course it all depends of the things that I'm acquiring or not right so okay now that we have that out of the way that's that was the main things that I wanted to talk to you about. But now I want to pick something that I'm not sure is it will come to fruition. So I have a kind of a passion project that I wanted to bring to the channel and bring to my socials. And it's funny because this was the point and the objective since day one I first started on Instagram but you know it never came to be unfortunately because I wanted to begin but then I never had the time and it never came to be but I want to bring some content that doesn't have to do with reading or books. I could say it's a kind of a passion that I have, um, that I'm trying to improve on, that I think I have some kind of inclination to, but I never nurt nurtured that talent, so I never kind of had a huge development on it unfortunately unfortunately i don't want to say right now exactly what it is because it may perhaps never happen so i don't want to announce something and then never appear in my channel never come to fruition as i was saying so i just want to hint you something and i want to say that if it comes to fruition if I'm able through 2024 um, create content around this project that I'm talking to you about they will not be released on Tuesdays they will be released on, under, on another day of the week so that the content related to reads to book and reading are not affected you know because eventually you may not have interest in my secret project <laughs> so you may not like it you may not think that i have something to add to that pro to that field so many things can can pass through your mind and i don't want to clash between the projects and the main focus of this channel so just want to tell you that and well i think that was it now because i made a script for this video so i had my ideas kind of organized and i think that was it if i had something to add to this I will be talking to you on my Instagram 
yeah, perhaps mainly on my Instagram. I think that's the platform more suitable for it through stories or something. But, you know, I wanted to have a bit of a shit chat with you today and I never have done a video like this and I really enjoyed it. I think a video has to have a theme or a subject or some relevance to you if I'm going to have just a talk, right? And this one is, it was for sharing goals, sharing some plans in terms of my channel. So I think that was important for me to do. And I hope you don't mind. This Tuesday, I didn't have bring you a book review <laughs> or my usual content. So I also would like to know what you think about my plans. Firstly, in terms of reading goals, I would like to know what are yours, if you set a goal on your Goodreads or on your Storygraph or whatever place you, you use to search your reading goals. I would really, really love to know about you, if you are a slow reader like me or how do you read, if you have that silence voice in your head or if you don't at all. So. Let me know all about it down below and also I would really like to know your opinion about my project to change a bit uh, the content of my channel. If you enjoy book reviews, if you prefer them or if you would like to see vlog more reading vlogs from me, my routine, my day to day. So yeah, let me know. Uh, because I create content for you so <laughs> having your opinion is very important to me but beyond that I think I'm going to say goodbye now we'll continue this chat in the comments so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, X now. <laughs> so the links will be down below in the box description, so go there to check them out. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!